Hi friends, in this session we are going to see how maths are useful in our real life. Okay, so in this session it was very interesting topic. So most of us uh, feel, some of them feel like maths is very difficult and uh, we don't see that in our real life. But the real fact is like maths very useful in our real life. Okay, so if I take few examples, so that will be more clearer for us. So how maths will be useful in our real life. Okay. First, we, first, if we see, arithmetic will be most useful in our real life. Okay, so for example, if if I if I want to do some calculations in addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, so these kind of uh, things will be useful while calculating few things. Okay, so apart from that, uh, there will be discounts also. Okay, if if we purchase certain kind of product, so in that product, if they are giving for ten percent discount, twenty percent discount, thirty percent discount. So we'll be calculating based on percentages topic. Okay, so maths will be useful. So percentages topic will be useful in that way. Okay, so if you are cooking anything, so if you are cooking anything for our household activity, so we need to measure quantities of ingredients like how this will be. See, for example, if I'm cooking any vegetable curry, so for that I need to count all the ingredients like how much should I add to this. Curry in order to make it a perfect. So there will be if if I added a too much excess quantity of salt, so that curry will not look good, right? So in that, so I need to measure that quantity and how I can add it. So that is the that that is that is also the uh, thing. The math will be useful over there. Okay. So that is the thing I want to discuss. Okay. So if I if I take like uh, if we are traveling to some uh, ex ex. If I'm traveling, if I'm traveling to some uh, other district or other state, so that the thing is like like uh, how many kilometers will be I need to travel for that distance to reach the destination, uh, like how much time it will be taken. So all these things come under into picture. Okay, so I need to calculate everything. So by using time and distance concept concept, we'll be calculating all these things. Okay, so apart from this, so there are percentages as I discussed earlier. So if you want to discuss like uh, uh, discounts, like uh, if I if I want to purchase some product from some online store, so he will be telling like 10% discount available over this product. So if I want to calculate, I know percentage very well to calculate this. So apart from this, there are, there is also interest. So what is interest like? Uh, if I, if I went to bank, so I am taking some X percent uh, X X amount of loan from bank. So bank is giving me in certain kind of interest at 10% per annum or 20% per annum like that they will be giving. So I need simple interest compound interest X to solve that calculations. So in order to understand bank rates, I need to learn that topic. So again, maths into maths comes into picture. So this is useful over there. So algebra will be useful in uh, solving equations and budgeting few things. Okay, if I take a geometry topic. So that will be useful in our real life. So most of the architects, so that means the architecture when when they are, they are constructing certain kind of buildings or certain kind of uh, geometrical shapes related buildings. So maths comes into picture and that is that play crucial role. So they need to calculate all the angles how they be they will be building that uh, uh, all the geometrical. Uh, they need to follow all the mathematical calculations in order to build their certain kind of things okay so again geometry plays a crucial part in their uh, lives so const in constructions uh, and there is a, also angles so trigonometry is also plays crucial role there so heights and distance so shapes 2d 3d shapes so all these things will comes under picture so why i'm telling all these things is like most of us feels like uh, maths will not play that much important in our real life okay so if you see all these things We'll get some idea like uh, how maths really useful in our real life. Okay, so let's get into another topic. So if I take statistics or probability, so this is also very important in our real life. If yes, if I take statistics, okay, so mean, median, and uh, you know data interpretation data will be taken. If I if I have if I'm having certain kind of as a data engineer, if I'm having certain kind of data, so I need to show them in a uh, like a uh, certain kind of manner like bar graph pie chart so all these things comes into picture if we learn statistics so probability so how probability so you come to know like uh, 
you you may think like probability is not been useful in our real life so it will be very important for you so for example if you are watching any cricket match there will be uh, head and tails tossing will be there okay so there are probable chances so in, if we take probability so if we calculate uh, how many ways that uh, might be head or tails probable chances okay so if some uh, x person will be playing a dice game okay if they are uh, uh, rolling a die so there will be six chances six favorable chances will be there so getting their own number okay so if you are playing a cards a bunch of cards there will be 52 pack cards will be there right so if you are uh, uh, playing card game so there will be 13 shapes 13 diamonds like that will be there right so again probability comes into picture so this is the real life examples i'm about uh, like telling you to understand in a better way okay so if you take calculus calculus will also useful in physics equations and engineering degree so most of the calculations will come under uh, this calculus so integration and all okay so if you take measuring units so uh, if we take uh, i already discussed about cooking quantity how much we need to take so measuring quantities measuring units will be very useful at this time okay so and you can say uh, lot many examples are there lot many topics are there so this is the importance of math maths in our real life so for example logical reasoning so if we take logical reasoning we need to think in a certain criteria in by using mathematical equations to solve certain kind of riddles puzzles all these things okay so if i take data analysis so so data analysis will definitely will be very useful uh, if if i have bunch of data uh, in numbers so uh, like if i i can easily represent them by using bar graph pie chart data table table chart like that so these are all the things that we are so we have lot many topics that are very useful in our real life so i'm uh, explaining about certain kind of topics to know the importance of maths in our real life so i hope you enjoyed my session or enjoyed my video session so i'm first time doing so i i hope i could get the required response from your end also so I, I hope you like this session give a thumbs up to this video and comment your response on maths that will be useful in our real life and thank you for watching this video and share this channel to your friends and colleagues who are preparing for competitive exams thank you for watching